My name is Paula Pichresta. Um, I am currently a fourth year student at the University of Washington in Seattle. I'm studying public health. And how did I? So I graduated Bingo National School in 2016 and 17. I'm batch 14. Um, in these five years, I have gone to high school in America and college, but I spent about I'll say three most crucial parts of learning in Baby One, and I think it has immensely helped me to create a base on going to study even abroad in a different um, education system. First of all, in the early days, I would definitely say it was a bit of adjustment of having your own computer every time at the school, even in like 11th grade and 12th grade, not even in college. But, um, but I think you get used to it, you know, because you're young and then you learn very easily. And here too in Baby Love, it's not like you don't have computers, right? So yeah, it wasn't that bad adjusting. I think we here too, I remember, we used to have like presentations that were like, I remember doing the one presentation that was outside of school. It wasn't lesson oriented. Somebody just, a teacher just told, told us to do a presentation, to do a presentation, you know, just for the soft skills to build. And I think that was helpful going abroad. And here we, there were, Wednesdays were always essay competitions, handwriting competitions, debates, quiz competitions. There was also scouts. I think scouts was also something that was different that we did do here in Bacon. Um, what else is there? Yeah, there wasn't as much as there wasn't as much things as there are now. I was also in dance. Dance was fun, yeah. So overall I think I think Baby One was a well rounded for me. Yeah. No, I think I think I already said that, but I think yeah, exactly. Because if it was just academia I think going to the largest, going to the world outside of school, you just don't need education, right? So those presentations, dance competitions, those Wednesday ECA activities, I think built my confidence, my hardworking skills in terms of academia, and like also other extracurricular activities into becoming this I I noticed a great difference. Even my cousin still goes here, so I see like there's newsletters that are coming out which was not there in our time I think that lets um, kids to showcase their like I see like drawings and like poems and that's a, that's an outlet for kids to put out there also there's projectors and interactive learning and experience or learning ICT, ICT yes. yes that's that's a, that was not there we, we were whiteboard and chalkboard kids so I think that that is very like, good for the kids nowadays to learn better and you know apply all the I think having an ICT in class is also helping you learn how to do all those things so when you go outside you can be like oh this is in my classroom so I can just do it you know so in those ways too yeah. I think for us we were just like study we get the exams and get them right and have that first position that you hold in class all right but I think being able to apply those things in real life is a lot important than just getting those marks down. So if you're there to learn, you need to learn it in a way that you apply it to your life rather than just, just for the exams. Good to hear you. Thank you so much. Thank you.